Hey, what's up guys? With St. Patrick's Day right around the corner, I have an amazing recipe that I really want to share with you guys. Listen, I know all of you are familiar with corned beef and boiled cabbage and boiled potatoes, and I love that, everybody loves that, but listen, I want to take corned beef and I wanted to bring it from here to a totally different level. And I have an appetizer recipe using corned beef that I think you're gonna love. I wanna show you guys how to make corned beef spring rolls, but I wanna introduce some caramelized onions, some shredded cheddar cheese, some sauerkraut. We're gonna fold all of that in, make an amazing mix, make those spring rolls, and then I'm gonna show you how to make a fiery dipping sauce to accompany it. It rocks, I know you're gonna love it, and I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. I have about two quarts of boiling water, which I'm gonna add some uh, dried bay leaves, peppercorns and mustard seeds. It's just basically pickling spice. And I purchased this big corned beef, which I'm gonna cut open in a second with my food scissors, but they just broke apart, so give me a second to put them back together. <laughs> okay, here we go. And these are full of juices. This has been brined. We wanna keep all of that. So be really careful. And let me just open this up to make sure. Nope, I gotta go a little further, sorry. Trials and tribulations, guys. Okay, here we go. Be really careful. All of these juices you wanna save because that's part of the brine. And just basically put the bag in there, get that meat out. Be very, very careful. I don't want this like splashing up on top of you. All right, perfect. We're gonna bring this back up to temperature to a good simmer. We're gonna leave it at a simmer and we're gonna let it simmer for about three and a half to four hours. This is about three and a half, four pounds. We have a lot of time to kill while our meat cooks. So let's caramelize some onions. In a pan, a little bit of oil, about an ounce or two. I don't know, three, four minutes. You know the drill, guys. All right guys, this looks good, nice and caramelized. Let's turn off the flame. Set these aside to cool 100%. We still have a lot of free time, so let's make our fiery dipping sauce that I spoke of. It's about two ounces of relish, mayonnaise, about four to five ounces. You know, if you want a little less, that's cool. It doesn't matter, it's your preference. Some ketchup, also about four ounces. And we're gonna finish this to make it fiery with one tablespoon of cayenne pepper. And we're gonna mix this all together. After cooling off the brisket, I want you to slice on the bias, meaning like here's the bias going this way, I want you to do the opposite way. That's gonna give you optimal tenderness for the meat. So do it in really thin slices, just like that and it's gonna to start to fall apart. So after cutting it on the bias, like take a look. You know, it's, it's just, it really just like pulls apart like nothing. It's so tender and so amazing. And this is what really is gonna achieve the most ultimate amazing product for our dish. And you know what, it really pays off to braise it for so long because if you don't, it's gonna be tough and chewy and it's gonna suck. So absolutely spend the time, look at that. In a large bowl, add your caramelized onions. We're gonna follow this with our cheddar cheese. Have about six ounces of aged, amazing cheddar goodness. Next up, let's add the corned beef that I've shredded. I cooled this down a little bit. You don't wanna burn yourself. And lastly, we're gonna add about six ounces of sauerkraut. Get that all in there. Mix it all uh, thoroughly until combined. All right guys, let's make our first spring roll here. Love this. Don't put too much in here because it'll seep out of the sides, but put it right in the middle. We're gonna take it from the bottom. We're gonna fold it over. From right, we're gonna fold that over, press it, left, fold that over. And before we continue, we're just gonna take a little cornstarch and water, put this on top, it's gonna to help seal it. And we're just gonna fold this over and make a nice little perfect roll, just like that.
fire up some oil to like 350 degrees and we're going to place these in here about three or four at a time for about three minutes until golden brown. Carefully take them out of the oil and just place them on a paper towel so they can drain any excess oil. All right, let's plate it up. Let's see what we're looking like here. Cut it right in half on the bias. Look at that, beautiful. Oh my God, the onions, the beef, the cheese. Sick, love it. Let's begin plating this up, guys. So I'm gonna do, I guess like, I don't know, eight on this plate. Enjoy, guys. Guys, I love St. Patrick's Day. I love corned beef and cabbage. I really do, but it gets like a really, you know, routine after a while and kind of like boring for me. It does. I'm sorry. It gets a little boring. So I want to jazz it up for you and create like a really cool recipe. And I think I did for an appetizer. I know your friends and family are going to love it. It's got the caramelized onions and the cheddar and the sauerkraut, and it's just out of control. It's easy to do. And you're going to love it. I wish you all a happy St. Patrick's Day. I had a blast with you guys. Don't drink too much, and I'll see you guys soon.